Hi, I'm Lucas Lang, joining you for our beautiful outdoor set for this week's edition of The Nacho Show. <laughs> this week I'm joined by... Aaron Wagenheim. <laughs> Adele Jordan. What might people know you from? People might know me from my uh, extensive career in the athletics arena. Just soccer and track. Um, and... I'm also president of the United States of America, so that could do it too. Let me get some of that, boss. <laughs> um, people would probably know me from be my friend, <laughs> or... I don't think so. I don't think that one's right. <laughs> probably... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, um... I don't know how people would know me. I don't know. Like, Wait. if you see me around, maybe. Well, you know I mean, uh, I, I, see, I mean, I, I see you're wearing a, a trooper's outfit. Do people see you cruising around sometimes? Sometimes, on the occasion. On the occasion. Yeah. I once got a picture with Max Lockett at a football game and was on his story. So I think a lot of people know me from that. Oh wait, are you announcing that you're? Are you announcing your candidacy right now? Unofficial. I don't want to speak too soon. So uh, am I taking? Not going to say anything, but. Uh, if uh, if if the elections don't get canceled because of coronavirus, Corona. hey wait, you might see me there. So Aaron, how Ooh, do you yeah. <laughs> how do you plan to campaign against Adele um, this coming election? I mean, her approval rating's pretty strong, um, so it's going to be kind of a tall task. Yeah, well, there's two things that I plan on doing um, if I if I actually run. Uh, the first would be to get a public endorsement statement from Max Lock himself and other local celebrities. Mm. In addition to, in my opinion, the most effective um, campaigning tool uh, in bribery. Um, oh. I think in past years, bribery hasn't been used in the correct ways. Uh, sometimes you'll get a lollipop or even a, even a Kit Kat, but... Uh, well, do you plan to do it uh, kind of like how Mike Bloomberg did it? You know, he was serving his uh, rally goers uh, five course meals. Well, you know, I don't know. Five course meals. Well, that's a little bit light, you know? A little bit light. Would you just consider handing them straight cash? Yeah. I was thinking pennies to the dollar, depending how much. Uh, Inflation's hitting uh, by that time. Well, um, right now, as you know, um, the coronavirus is hitting the economy pretty hard. Um, the Dow Jones, NASDAQ, and the S&P 500 were all down by more than 10% um, from two weeks ago. So as a future businessman, are you worried at all? Or how do you think it's going to play out? Certainly What's not. the S&P? Standard and Poor 500. <laughs> You weren't supposed to say that. Sports and profit. <laughs> Sports and profit. Right. Um. I'm yeah, no, I definitely fun. think that. It's good. It's good. Um. <coughs> the it. stock market being going There's down so definitely gives a great opportunity uh, for investors and people looking to get into the market. I think there's a lot of money to be made every time there's a recession. It. So, in the face, dude, you did some weird thing that a cow would do. <laughs> you know, With a fish. some could compare you. I'll give them life. I could compare you. will give you. them money, I'll give them a life. I, Aaron, I, think the I could compare you thought. to the hair I just found on my notch. <laughs> Nobody wants it there. <laughs> so, another thing that happened kind of uh, more on a local scale. And it's been kind of, uh, you know, people have been freaked out by this as uh, Mr. Cody's beard kind of, you know, disappeared. Uh, nobody really knows what happened to it, but I know many people are distraught and deeply, deeply confused. So, uh, what do you make Whoa. of it? Well, when I first saw Mr. Cody beardless, I wouldn't call it confused, I would call it more dazed. <laughs> but um, honestly, in the end of the day, it's really up to Norman and uh, I respect his decision. <laughs> to uh, shave it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Adele? Whoa. Whoa. So, I didn't know um, Cody, I didn't have the pleasure of meeting him until this year. And the first day I saw him, till the uh, first day of junior year, I thought to myself, wow, that beard is definitely a strap on. Really? Yes, and from from 
that day forward, it was my goal um, to test if it was, and then suddenly he came back, and suddenly he was plainly shaven, and there's a bug just right. There's no that other way that his beard could just disappear like that. There's a bug on this. That one's really spicy, and it wasn't that spicy last. So, uh, looks like we're gonna have to skip on the uh, Trinidad uh. morgue on <laughs> scorpion garlic because there's a bug on it. There's a actually the bugs on the exterior, so it is still sanitary. And don't worry, we were taking extreme precautions because of the coronavirus. Nobody here is getting contaminated. All right, so our hot topic this week is gonna be like uh, what it's like to be uh, working on the transcript. So what do you guys do exactly on the transcript? You know, honestly, the transcript, amazing class. I highly recommend taking it. Jeremy Whalen, probably, if not the best, maybe the second best teacher in the school behind Mr. Cody, obviously. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, <coughs> if you're interested in taking it, you should definitely sign up. <coughs> Adele, <laughs> what is it like to be a, a, you know, a journalist, but a president of the United States at the same time? You know? Sometimes it's oh, nice oh, yeah. um, I sometimes it, so. it's a lot to handle. I mean, it's a lot of uh, responsibility, but I get the pleasure of covering my own stories so I can portray <laughs> myself as however I want and portray my uh, competition. <laughs> <laughs> Weak. Aaron, as a, um, as Adele's <laughs> supposed opponent, um, are you worried opponent. at all about her skewing uh, the media? I, I know that you have your own media company as well. So, uh, do you are you gonna rival with that at all? Are you gonna? Well, as you mentioned earlier, um, I definitely think that I could take a Bloomberg approach to this campaign. Um, I have background in running Facebook ads and Instagram ads, so I definitely could hit NHS with uh, advertising. Do you happen to uh, visit the USSR on your honeymoon as well, or is that do you have any connections to Russia you want to talk about right now? Well, actually, funny you ask that, but uh, my cousin's Russian. Oh. My he, my um, aunt is also Russian. You know, Russia is a cool place. Uh, the Olympics were there, I think, a couple years ago, and. Uh, it's huge. Like my campaign can be. <laughs> well, um, I have two cousins from Russia. <laughs> so therefore... It's not a competition, <laughs> Adele. Well, so yes, my aunt is. is actually from Russia, too. <laughs> my and dog is bigger than and yours. So, um, my dog. Two cousins. And they're not even twins. Also, you can't even hang with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh hot sauce out of ten. The only reason you can is because you're drinking chocolate milk. You're drinking it too. <laughs> so, Humble citizens. You melt your cheese on your nachos. You made the nachos. <laughs> Humble citizens. I can't listen do here. Anymore. Listen oh here. Listen here. Listen here. I, I have no ties to Russia, and therefore I am the best candidate to be president of the United Whoa! States. 2020. I can't do this anymore. I'm not a cop. I'm quit baking. Oh. So how does my hair look, Lucas? How does my hair look? Tell me, tell me, Lucas, how does my hair look? Wait, so you Yum. just you just said you were faking being a cop. So how can the American people believe that you're not a phony? Um Please rephrase that question. Ooh, it's a bug. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Food bye. What's everyone's favorite diamond with the game bug? Because oh, mine is Roderick Rules. <laughs> but there's also there's also one that's like make your own yes, diary. Yes, that's the best one. That's so good. You get the to write one? it. Yeah. We're gonna pivot from the presidential elections, and I kind of want to get uh, into your personal lives, and more importantly, your lives as a presidential journalist. Can we just get to the next sauce already? Uh, you, okay, I think so I skipped a couple. Is this the ball? 
<laughs> bugs. There's so many bugs. <laughs> it's probably all the cheese. This is, this is old. Whoa. <laughs> this is more of a situational for your guys. So say you're in a, you know, your local uh, supermarket. Um, probably something like a, a lower class stop and shop because that's how bad Guy Fieri's food is. Um, so stop roasting Guy Fieri. <laughs> You run into Guy Fieri with a camera. Um, yeah. Guy Fieri, actually. It's actually Guy Fieri. Um, you run into him in the supermarket um, with a camera. What is the one question that you can ask him on the spot to go on the uh, on the transcript? On the transcript. Um, I'd probably ask him if he liked my eyebrow. <laughs> Interesting choice. Uh, well, you know. <laughs> I'd also. I'd like to hear everyone's opinion. <laughs> On my eyebrow, so uh, Mr. Mead. This is for you, yeah, the humble think... listener. Is that a lot? Uh -huh. Let's uh -oh. see. Look. Oh my god. You crazy, crazy. Bug, bug! <laughs> Again, I just want to reassure wait, wait. you guys that Ask there's no chance for coronavirus being spread here. Yeah, no, this is a coronavirus As free class zone. president, I would like to make one of the, I mean, as president of the United States, I'd like to make one of the Ooh, spirit Lord. days. <laughs> um, Smith Voke Day, so everyone will drive. <laughs> Bring out the Timberlands for this one. No, no I just came out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's Diary of a Wimpy Kid no. Nova, right there. Cheese time! Look at that, the cheese. <laughs> So that would entail taking tractors, lawnmowers, bikes, maybe dirt bikes to school, and you have to wear overalls and Chippewas. You can even bring your cows. I need, I need five, I need five. Holy A little seasoning. You just gotta get rid of all this time. <laughs> 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 Sorry for the rather elongated intermission. Um, what intermission? I don't know what you're talking about. No, that was Nothing just happened. happened. You have a camera in your hand at an event and you bump into Guy Fieri. You have one question you can ask him to get on the transcript. What is it? My question to him would be, would you like to come do an interview for the transcript? That way, I could ask him multiple questions in my uh, journalist skills that I learned in that class. Um, and, um, there's just a car coming, so, gives me a second to think though. Yeah, and I could ask him, uh, in that <laughs> question, <laughs> I would ask him, um, about what his favorite Let's foods are, for later. um, what his favorite restaurant that he's been to is, like, in the <laughs> whole country, because he's been to so many restaurants, and probably ask him why that restaurant is, and then... <laughs> Stop! That's so mean. It's me, Raja. <laughs> I was planning on using these chips for the hot one. It's me, Raja. <laughs> what would your question be? Um. You know how at hockey games, like at UMass hockey games, they're like, when a away player goes to the penalty box, they're like, see ya. That's what I want to say to you right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Lucas, stay in my face, it, why don't you? Let's say it, ready? Three, two, one. See, See ya! ya. <laughs> hey, Mr. Bug, uh, how's your date going today? They're all falling off right I, now. I think he's scared of me. Well, I'll just go back up a little. Miss! Miss, can I get an interview? Can I get a question, Miss? Okay, so this is, uh, how how do you react to the... Spice? Yep, I really like Total Insanity. Total Insanity! <laughs> Total Insanity! <laughs> Let's get her in! All right. All right. By the we way, Larry the Cable Guy is maybe my favorite actor of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought I'd tell you. Like, I thought you wanted to know. How do you, how do you deal with uh, damning critiques from students and teachers? Well, um, all the time, basically. All <laughs> <laughs> 49 hours? Well, no, no, not that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly. Because you have to spend that, you know. You know. Obviously, we already <laughs> covered that. But, like, no, no, no. The critiques. If we're talking. If we're talking, talk, talk. 
um, definitely it's hard when you make something that you're really proud of. Cue slow piano music. And someone doesn't like it. But my advice to all the youngins out there is <laughs> you just gotta push through. <laughs> That was so moving. Sometimes. That was beautiful. You can do it. You can do this. It's all up here, man. It's all up here. If the you last believe frontier. It, if you believe in it, you can do it. And if someone tells you you can't, I tell them, see ya. All right. For this uh, lightning round here, uh, you each have five seconds to answer the <laughs> to answer the following Brilliant. question and if you don't answer them within five seconds you have to take another chip with the bomb on it okay all right <laughs> all right Aaron uh what's your favorite transcript oh, segment <laughs> <laughs> no, no no the decade recap that me and Jazz did all right all right Adele no Jazz and I sorry sorry <laughs> what is the favorite interview you've done Probably Kobe. Oh, no, no, no. Um, with uh, Miguel. <laughs> All right. No, 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 not that one. We'll do it. Forget your shit. Forget your shit. Forget your shit. No. Yes. Not that one. I will, I will, I will. No, 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 not a different, no, I, I don't do interviews. <laughs> oh. We're going to do some teacher and student critiques um, from past episodes. Uh, you know, really going ham on the transcripts. They're mostly from Miss, Mr. Mead's room. All right, so let's get going on these <laughs> critiques. All right, so, um, here, <laughs> mix it up, mix it up. <laughs> uh. One is, uh... <laughs> Why is the nacho show a thing? <laughs> Honestly, good question. Are you considering this bad? I think I am actually. Well, let me let me answer that for you. Because it brings joy to people's hearts. Because for the 49 hours they have in a week, they need that s four. Seven minutes? hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> they need those four Six minutes of glory. <laughs> One hour for sleep, of course. <laughs> Very informative. In Wait, this is, this is funny. Whenever I give my mom something and read on my phone, she's always like, <laughs> Yo, if Robert's out there watching, love you, bro. You're a real one. We need more of Robert's in this world. On Wednesday, taking auditions to see who can say, on Wednesday, the best. Hey, hot sauce segment was good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lucas, stop bouncing in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching this week's edition Whoa. of the Nacho Show. <laughs>